Hi, I'm Brad Farlow from Skinner Farlow Kerwin Architecture and we're here to talk about the new Alston Ridge Middle School in Cary, North Carolina. You can see 540 here, Highway 55 here, and the new Alston Ridge Middle School M16 is immediately adjacent to Alston Ridge Elementary School. Hi, I'm Jason Phelan, Senior Project Manager, Wake County Public Schools Facility Design and Construction Group. And today we're standing in front of the main entrance of the brand new Alston Ridge Middle School project. So this is the main uh, floor plan for Alston Ridge Middle School. You can see the classroom wing at the top, 6th, 7th, and 8th grade stacked on top of each other. Um, Entrance for visitors is through the main vestibule at the top. They have to check in at the administrative area so that people aren't admitted without uh, the office knowing that they're there. Um, the media center is here in the center. Cafeteria, theater, large gym, and another auxiliary gym. And then some uh, other classrooms here. Uh, chorus, band, art, fax lab and health rooms along here. Now this entrance acts as the visitors and staff entrance and you can see the, the canopy, protected canopy, the drop-off and the main access road for this school is being constructed now adjacent to the Alston Ridge Elementary School and the entrance going to tie in is going to be up Green Level Church Road and we'll be signalizing that intersection so parents and visitors have a clean transition from the main road all the way to the school at a traffic signalized light and a gradual trip to the main entrance for drop off. So this is the site plan for the new Alston Ridge Middle School. You can see the main carpool entry coming in from the front here looping through the site and being uh, car riders will be dropped off at the front door. This is the visitor side parking lot here and here, main entrance for visitors and from the south side, the buses will enter separately and be dropped off here. Well, we're currently standing in the southernmost portion of the school site, and that's the dedicated bus drop-off and bus pickup area. Now, this also has a protective canopy outside for staff and students, and the main bus drive for this school is located off Winding Pine Trail, and that access is off of uh, Green Mountain Church Road. So this is a 3D axonometric view of the school the main entrance is here, classroom wings, three story on each side, um, and then the core facility is here with the media center as sort of a central hub of the uh, building. We're standing in the media center of the school, which is essentially located on each actual relationship of the corridors. Uh, it directly separates the three story classroom wing and all the assembly spaces uh, to our south and it maintains the same kind of design element that we had for the three-story classroom wing and the aspect of we have north and south daylighting to capture a lot of north-south orientation to increase daylighting, maximize learning, and increase uh, collaboration for this um, kind of high-tech uh, media center, offering the students a great place to learn. So this is a blow-up of the site and it shows, you can see the track at the top here, softball field, bus parking, staff and event parking here. And you can see that the, the building is divided into two main parts. The three-story classroom wing, elongated on the east-west axis here, and then the core part of the site here with courtyards between the two. Earlier we were in the media center, and right now that sits directly behind me, and that's a central focal point of the school. It also separates the assembly spaces and a three-story classroom. Where we are now is at the outdoor learning commons area, and that's on each end of the media center that separates the school. The circulation is very clear within the school, north and south, so the principal can stand at this point and basically see pretty much everything that's happening in the school. Hi. Right now we're located inside the school on one of the main entrances directly off the main entrance to the building. And as you can see behind me, and what Brad alluded to during his design portion of the presentation was that there's a very clear actual relationship which offers clean lines for both staff students and also to maintain security and high visibility for the staff and students. Now, there's a lot of natural light where I'm standing right here because directly to my left is the media center. We have a large storefront curtain wall system that allows a lot of natural light to 
might be borrowed into the media center. But as you can see, long, long sight lines, clear visibility, and great safety and security for the staff and students. The main core part of the school houses the um, cafeteria, the theater, the gym, and the smaller gym, some health classrooms, art, music, fax lab. Well, we're currently in the main gymnasium of the school, and this school also houses a separate auxiliary gym. And the assembly space of this school, or let alone buried masonry, was different from the three-story classroom wing that was all in structural steel. Now we kept the same design criteria for the north-south orientation for a lot of our natural light that you can see flooding the space. So once we're finished here, we'll have telescoping bleachers, customized gym flooring to match the brain of the school. Uh, so it's an exciting time where we are in construction. One of the other features that's, uh, that we're really happy with in this floor plan is each side or each area of classrooms has a large collaborative space. And we've done that in these locations at the ends of the hallways. Um, and we're using lockers that are low, that are very easy for teachers to see over. And also what that does is it provides the students, when they're collaborating, it gives them a work surface that they can work on that's uh, you know, within their, their height. I'm currently standing inside the classroom wing of this building, and the classroom wing is structural steel, and the collaborative space element is unique to this space as it's essentially located on each end of the wing, on each end of the building. So the classroom tower is broken off basically in half and a mirror copy on each side. So each student from each level can benefit of having a large collaborative space that you see behind me here today. Now the classroom wing is located on a north to south axis to maximize uh, daylighting. And as you can see, we're, we're well on the way here and we look forward to um, using the space for collaboration and great learning. This is an aerial view of the school under construction. Similar to the last view, the three-story classroom wing is here, the main entrance is here, the gymnasium uh, with the media center in the center. Lots of natural light in the media center and lots of daylighting in the classrooms also. Well, on behalf of the Wake County Public School Systems Facilities Design and Construction Unit and our partners Skinner Farlow Kerwin Architecture and our CM Barnhill Contracting Company, we look forward to seeing you and your families this summer 2019.